Now the crowd starting to gather around, uh, signifying the arrival of Mr. Khrushchev. The security officials, Mr. Khrushchev is here, coming up the uh, walk out in front of the Home Economics Building. The Secret Service uh, trying to get the crowd back. They have a giant walkway in which to bring uh, the Premier, the Chairman, uh, toward the Home Economics Building. A great cluster of uh, photographers around the car. Nick Pierce uh, is out in that group with a microphone. Uh, let's see if we can switch down to Nick Pierce and get some commentary. Chairman, how do you do, Mr. President? Chairman Khrushchev, Madam Khrushchev, is she? Sure, you. Close. Sure. You just come right up. How are you? Nice to see you, Mrs. Yeah. Helton. Members of your family, are they both here? Fine. Mr. and Mrs. Lodge and other distinguished guests, we bid you a cordial welcome to Iowa State University. This is the oldest official land-grant college or land-grant university in America. During most of the first century, we were known as Iowa State College of Agriculture and Engineering. Last July, our name was changed to Iowa State University. There are six major colleges in the university. Agriculture, engineering, home economics, sciences and humanities, veterinary medicine, and the graduate college. We offer undergraduate and graduate training in 55 different departments. We have about 9,500 students during the academic year 4,000 during the summer, a total of about 13,000. Most of our students come from Iowa, but we have students from every state in the Union and from 254 foreign countries. Since you will be here such a short time, we can give you only a very brief picture of the university. We wish you to see just a few classrooms and laboratories and research laboratories in this building here. You will see today classes going on just as you will see any day during the week. We thought Mrs. Khrushchev and your daughters might like to see the work in this building. Because of your particular interest in agriculture, we will make a brief stop at our Swine Nutrition Laboratory to observe some of our research work designed to assist Iowa farmers in improving the efficiency of hog production on Iowa farms. Because your visit is so limited, and we will not have time to explain all of the work of the university, we wish to present to you this history of the university, which has in it an explanation of the work of the institution. When Mr. Miscavige, and I hope I say that right, was here a few years ago, he was kind enough to give us a copy of a Russian cookbook. Now we wish to reciprocate by giving having one of our students, Miss Diane Restman, a major in home economics, present to Madam Khrushchev a cookbook written by one of our people and published by the university. Also, to the ladies of the group, we wish to request to present a little tile memento which will be in a little basket here so that you might remember Iowa State University. It's just a little tile, tea tile. Then we'll go on the tour. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And there you saw the president of the Iowa State University, great Mr. Khrushchev, Madam Khrushcheva, at the steps of the Home Economics Building. Now the crowd moving inside will move down a corridor, will move down a long reception line. Inside the Home Economics Building, you see the dignitaries, the guests moving in, and move down the reception line. 
In the reception line will be the provost at Iowa State University, Dr. Jensen, Mrs. Jensen, Mrs. Hilton, there in the front of the picture, as you see. Also in the reception line, Boyne Platt, the vice president in charge of business and finance at Iowa State University. Mrs. Platt, of course, we said that the dean of agriculture, Floyd Andre, rode with Mr. Khrushchev on his trip from Coon Rapids. In the reception line, Richard Baer, Dean of the College of Science and Humanities. Right in the front of the picture is a good example of uh, the security leading the way. Mr. Khrushchev still in the reception line, the crowd uh, milling around him at the front entrance of this new home economics wing at Iowa State University. Cap Bentley uh, was with me uh, in the broadcast booth. Cap, uh, it would look as if uh, the students at Iowa State University gave Mr. Khrushchev quite a rousing welcome. Yes, indeed, and that uh, was what you might expect at an institution of higher learning such as we have here at uh, Iowa State uh, University. Over in uh, the uh, USSR, we found the students very much interested in America, in our uh, educational system, and our people uh, in the uh, 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 university area. Of course, uh, Cap Bentley just returned about a month ago from uh, USSR on an extended trip, his second year in a row, and uh, of course with Mr. Eisenhower going back uh, to Russia uh, next month or so, uh, we would imagine that uh, President Eisenhower will be interested in seeing the USSR and uh, also the uh, uh, University of Moscow. Yes, and it is a beautiful institution, Dick. Uh, uh, it's, in fact, it's the largest uh, institution in uh, Moscow at the present time. Houses uh, about 12,000 students where they have all of their uh, facilities for working, living, and their educational uh, facilities. Here you see uh, Chairman Khrushchev uh, greeting Dean LeBaron. Dean LeBaron of the Home Economics Division will take uh, Mr. Khrushchev waving to our cameras, looks a bit tired from a rough trip that he's had today. Madam Khrushcheva, Mrs. Hilton following behind, they will go downstairs to one of the classrooms. We say only say one, one of many classrooms in the lower wing of the Home Economics Building. Not a lot of uh, pressmen being allowed to accompany them on the tour. Uh, because of the limited facilities, they will actually see students at work. Classes continuing on at Iowa State uh, University. Mr. Khrushchev and his traveling dignitaries will have a full chance to see the Home Economics Division in full glory. As the Khrushchev party travels down the corridors of this expansive home economics building, they will be seeing just one of nine departments in the College of Home Economics. This will be the Household Equipment Department. Mr. Khrushchev and Madam Khrushcheva will see students in the basic equipment course taught by Marjorie Martin. The girls in this class are studying nameplates of appliances. Such information may be used to enable one to compare the power ratings of different appliances determine what combination of appliances can be used effectively on house circuits to gain understanding of how to use appliances safely and to guide in estimating the cost of operation of appliances. Chairman Khrushcheva, Madam Khrushcheva, we should say, and the chairman now taking a look at these rooms. Cap, uh, since you were in Russia, I'm curious as to uh, how the homes of, say, Ames, uh, Des Moines, and uh, Coon Rapids uh, compare with those of Russia. Well, Dick, it's uh, quite a different uh, setup in Russia. In the cities, primarily, they're building huge apartment houses, eight and 10-story apartment houses that will cover a half a block. They'll house from four to 600 families. These apartments range from two to three room uh, apartments. While out in the rural areas, uh, you will find that uh, on these collective and state farms, they're uh, Family units, uh, the homes are cottages, so to speak, 
two-room cottages with a lean-to on the side, but they endeavor uh, very uh, much to make them homey with the limited uh, facilities and equipment that they have to furnish these homes. There are no private homes being built in the big cities such as Moscow, Kiev, and so on at the present time in Russia. They're all these large apartment homes. Also, this brings to mind, uh, since he's visiting a home economics uh, building, how the housewife secures her food in Russia. Well, that uh, is different uh, in a way than ours, Dick, because of the limited uh, uh, facilities in the home, particularly refrigeration and space. They must shop almost uh, daily for their requirements, uh, any perishable goods, uh, uh, such as meats and poultry and uh, uh, that sort of thing, must be purchased daily. They have large open markets in which they bring the produce of the farms to these open markets, and they are uh, filled throughout the day with housewives there uh, picking up their staples, uh, uh, vegetables, fruits, and uh, the like for their home use. Well, Cap, yesterday, uh, Mr. Khrushchev and uh, the traveling dignitaries had a chance to visit a packing plant in Des Moines, and how does the meat supply and the method of procuring the meat to differ? Well, Dick, uh, that was uh, one of the requests that we made this year, is to go through a packing plant in Russia. But we were unable to go through one. We did see some of the meat that came from the packing plant. And it looks quite different than ours, uh, Dick. They uh, bring in the whole half carcass of hog. They will cut it up, hang it on metal hooks out in the open, no refrigeration in these open markets. And they uh, merely uh, uh, cut off uh, pieces at a time, as the customer points out, the particular uh, uh, piece of meat that uh, he or she would like. The uh, fruits and vegetables are all out on open counters uh, uh, with no uh, uh, refrigeration and uh, no uh, prepackaging, as you see, uh, uh, our vegetables and fruit in cellophane bags here in this country. It's uh, a day-to-day -day, uh, uh, shopping for your uh, food. Here you see a good cluster of the peace officers assembled uh, from various counties in and around uh, central Iowa. We noticed a Des Moines police car. Of course, uh, they've been in the caravan ever since it started this morning. Uh, Mr. Khrushchev, Madam Krava, and uh, many of the others left bright and early this morning. In fact, the lead car, the inspection car of the uh, security department, left uh, Des Moines at 7.30. Uh, Mr. Khrushchev and uh, his party left at approximately five minutes before 8. Traveling to the Garst Farms, we understand that Mr. Khrushchev has had a very, very busy day. He's been tramping in the fields, uh, taking a look at uh, what Mr. Garst had to offer. Cap, uh, being a farm expert, do you uh, suppose that he actually learned very much today? Well, Dick, uh, I think that was one of his primary interests coming to Iowa, was to see how we do uh, put the uh, finishing on our hogs at six months or less, and uh, the kind of feed that we use to bring these hogs to maturity and get them ready for market. What we saw in Russia the past two summers would indicate that they are desperately in need of uh, corn, such as we have here for our uh, swine industry and for our beef cattle. They need, uh, even uh, above that of the corn, they need uh, protein supplement, uh, soybean uh, meal, and that sort of uh, uh, balancing the ration to bring the uh, pork to a good quality uh, uh, level. Here we see uh, Mr. Khrushchev, Madam Khrushcheva, uh, visiting uh, one of the classrooms in the lower section of the Home Economics Building, uh, seeing the students as they uh, prepare for their various vocations. Uh, we, we know that Mr. Khrushchev was very interested in seeing Iowa State University uh, because of the touring Russians that toured the campus some five years ago. Another shot, the interpreter, uh, referring to Mr. Khrushchev, uh, what he is seeing girls uh, in the home economics division uh, continuing right on with their classwork. Cap, uh, you were here when the Russians uh, toured the campus five years ago, and I uh, understand they went back uh, with a great impression of the college, now the university. Yes, uh, Dick, we uh, visited with uh, Mitskevich, who led that delegation over here in 1955, and 
he presented each of our group with a book that he uh, summarized his uh, visit to America and a large share that had to do with the agriculture in the Corn Belt. Here's Dean LeBaron, the Home Economics uh, Division, talking to Mr. Khrushchev at one of the classrooms. Looks from their cap as if they allowed a great deal of uh, photographers to travel along and gather pictures uh, in the basement section. Yes, and that uh, I, f uh, I, I expect they'll take back a good many pictures uh, of their own Dick uh, to help them uh, remember and to help them analyze uh, at their leisure, so to speak, what they did see and uh, some of the things that they hope to uh, uh, put into practice when they get back home. Of course, here are the security cars, the cars in the parade that brought Mr. Khrushchev to Ames, waiting to take him on the rest of the tour of the university. He'll be traveling uh, a good many miles uh, yet before he gets back to Des Moines, where he catches a jet flight for Pittsburgh. Actually, Pittsburgh, the last stop before a weekend meeting with President Eisenhower at Camp, da Camp David course, uh, all the eyes and ears of the world will be focused on that spot as Mr. Khrushchev and President Eisenhower get together for some top-level meetings. Through these doors, uh, Mr. Khrushchev will come. He'll come from the top floor. He went down the lower flight where you witness the pictures. He will make a circle of the wing and come back down the steps. Right here, he was watching the girls in action one of the nameplates where they were studying. I understand from outside that uh, there have been no placards, a very orderly crowd, as the, was estimated the students at Iowa State would be. Some applause. Here you can see the snow fence holding the crowd back from the area through which Mr. Khrushchev would walk. National Guardsmen uh, started arriving on the campus early this morning. Of course, uh, the people connected with the university have been working uh, well over a week getting things ready for Mr. Khrushchev's visit. First of all, they had to find where the electrical currents were so that uh, when they put the stakes in the ground to set up the uh, snow fence that they wouldn't hit one of them. Here's uh, some of the photographers, student photographers, uh, gathering some shots that uh, they can take home, perhaps uh, later on in life, show their grandchildren. Of course, Mr. Khrushchev, this will not be the only stop. Uh, he will journey to the swine nutrition farm outside of Ames, uh, where we have cameras also set up. Mr. Khrushchev will visit out there model farm, so to speak, or top-level nutrition for the hogs. Takes place. Cap, maybe you can tell me a little bit more about the swine nutrition farm. Well, uh, here he will oh. be interested very much in our um, uh, development of the uh, meat type hog and the crossbreeding that we're doing here to develop uh, the higher percentage of uh, meat cuts from these uh, hogs to get away from the uh, uh, lard and the excessive uh, fat, although uh, they do need uh, the lard and the fat in Russia, they have reached a point where they're getting large uh, supplies of oil now from the sunflower, so that they are uh, interested primarily in getting uh, uh, meat from the uh, hog. They want uh, pork uh, just as badly as we want pork in this country. We would judge that uh, some security officials uh, confronted some boys walking down the road with some black bags, evidently uh, nothing in them as they made them open them up, told them to move on their way. They're moving on to the crowd, to follow it right behind by a security official to see that they do move to the back of the crowd, and of course uh, the students uh, jeering them and... Uh, uh, <laughs> helping add to the uh, confusion as to what went place out in the road. Back inside uh, of the Home Economics building, still waiting for Mr. Khrushchev to come back from his tour. 
Highway patrolmen uh, still waiting here as we look through the doors. We see students uh, uh, attempting to get a glimpse of Mr. Khrushchev. A sign placed in the window in Russian and not speaking Russian. Uh, I couldn't understand it, Cap. I'm sorry, my Russian is very poor, uh, Dick. Uh, uh, Spasiba is the limitation of my uh, Russian, which means uh, thank you. This is looking out in between the building as the wings uh, jut out on each side of the Home Economics Building. These students have gathered in what might be termed a patio, uh, looking in from the back side, waiting for him to come up the steps, board the car, and uh, go to the swine nutrition farm. We have cameras uh, located around the route. After he leaves the Home Economics Building, We'll pick them up on his journey. And then, of course, uh, when he arrives at the Swine Nutrition Farm, we will switch out there where WHO remote unit is standing by. Jack Kerrigan uh, waiting to bring a description out there. Photographer on top of the roof, uh, Secret Service uh, men standing with rifles, as uh, most all of the uh, National Guardsmen uh, with guns giant dog happened to get into the picture there. Photographer uh, attempting to get the best of shots to for his paper or for his scrapbook. Cap, uh, looking at this crowd uh, would remind you that Visha was here. Uh, yes, it, it does have a gala uh, affair tone to it. But it uh, sort of reminds you of the uh, crowds that we saw at the American exhibit in uh, Moscow this summer. There the uh, crowds were, were very much anxious to see what uh, we had to show them. And the exhibit, uh, I felt, uh, gave a pretty good cross-section of America. The literature, the work we're doing in the field of uh, uh, education, uh, primarily uh, our school work, and then uh, exhibits of how we live, the model home, uh, the uh, style shows, the uh, uh, things that we have in the stores, uh, things for children, things for adults, and things for young people in terms of their recreational area. Then out uh, throughout the uh, exhibit, we saw models of our cars here at home, our trucks, and our machinery. And we found that the men were very eager to uh, lift up the hood and look into the uh, motors of our uh, trucks and uh, of our tractors, and to uh, look very carefully at our combines, our corn planters, and so forth uh, in the uh, exhibit there at Moscow. We happened to be there on what they call their holiday, which is Sunday. And there were thousands upon thousands of people going through the exhibit uh, hour by hour. They would let them in in uh, waves. Uh, each uh, 30 minutes, a new group would uh, enter the main uh, uh, pavilion and then spread out from there to the various uh, smaller uh, units. We see more people coming down from the upstairs lobby. It would appear that uh, perhaps the tour is reaching a conclusion here in the Home Economics Building. Uh, I don't believe that uh, officials believe that Mr. Khrushchev would stay in here in the Home Economics Building uh, quite this long, but uh, uh, reports coming to us uh, indicate that he is thoroughly enjoying himself, as he has since he arrived in San Francisco, his stay in Des Moines and in Coon Rapids, uh, and in the short time that he has been on the Iowa State University campus. I would think, Dick, that this is the type of thing that Mr. Khrushchev would uh, be very much interested in. This was the type of thing that we tried to do, uh, and we were much more able to reach the uh, people of Russia this year compared with last, not only uh, uh, in the city, but out on the farms. And this is the type of thing that helps you understand the people, is to uh, get to where you can, visit directly with them. And we found that uh, many of the young people, particularly the young people in their late teens and early 20s, that have had the opportunities of the expanded uh, 
English in their schools, uh, that has given uh, the uh, tourists an opportunity to do more visiting directly with people, Dick. Of course, uh, we might mention too, Cap, that perhaps this is the first time where Mr. Khrushchev and Madame Khrushcheva have actually uh, toured a building together. We understand that they had the opportunity in Beltsville, but uh, uh, they refused to be uh, broken up and, and decided to go together. This, uh, of course, the Home Economics Building has to do with the family activities, and this is the proper place for them. Here they come. They have completed the tour. Adam Khrushchava right in front of our cameras. Mr. Khrushchev, Mrs. Hilton uh, passing uh, by. Mr. Khrushchev waving at the cameras, heading down the corridor now as he uh, moves back outside. We'll uh, board the car, get in the car, and we'll start the tour of the university campus. Of course, uh, they made a flying trip into Ames, uh, moved in on Highway 30 from the west. As he arrived in Ames, he got to see some highway construction work going on. Mr. Khrushchev as he moves outside. Mayor DeHart and Mrs. DeHart. Henry Cabot Lodge moving along. Mrs. Hilton coming outside to her. Madam Krachava. Here's the chairman bidding his hosts goodbye. So he said uh, this will be his next to last stop in Iowa. He will stop at the Swine Nutrition Farm outside of Ames. There are the gifts being handed over to the Secret Service uh, fellow. So he said the gifts were presented to the official party. A cookbook for Mrs. Khrushchava and a gold-bound history book for the chairman. An enthusiastic crowd uh, outside uh, greeting the party as they come back outside. Students, uh, probably typical of Moscow University, and they will be as eager to get a glimpse of President Eisenhower when he arrives in the Russian capital. A big crowd on hand. Highway Patrol uh, restraining the crowd, keeping them back. A slight press conference uh, going on as uh, Mr. Khrushchev is confronted by members of the press. We see Mr. Lodge in the background. Mr. Khrushchev, you recall yesterday at the steps of the Hotel Fort Des Moines, uh, did not want to go in right away, he decided to wait out in front. And uh, he permitted a press conference. Looks like members of the Iowa State Daily newspaper uh, gathered around uh, getting some comments from him on his tour through the Home Economics Building. Now the press conference is over. The chairman uh, moving toward the car that will take him on a hurried trip around the university campus. On the uh, campus, he will see a practice football field We'll move by the largest men's dormitory in the world, Friley Hall. He will see a large memorial union, student memorial union. He got a glimpse of it when he first arrived at the university. He will see the dairy industry building. He will see the agronomy building. He will see the cattle barns on his tour around the university campus. Cap, it's a shame that he doesn't have two or three hours to spend on the campus. Oh, yes. If, uh, if he could get into some of our uh, manufacturing uh, setups, such as the dairy industry building, if he could go out to our uh, nutrition farms and see uh, some of the work in uh, feeding of uh, particularly the beef cattle and the breeding work as far as our swine is concerned, uh, and also our corn breeding out on our agronomy farm, uh, it would be... Uh, very, very uh, uh, helpful and desirable to have a man of his caliber uh, see the kind of competition that uh, his people are up against. Here are the uh, selective service, secret service people uh, getting the caravan in order. See the sheriff of 
Story County, uh, who was more or less the head of uh, getting the cars in order for the parade around the campus. The cars are starting to move. It's not known just exactly how long it will take for the uh, group to tour the, uni to, to tour the campus and then move on out to the swine nutrition farm. It'll be a matter of uh, four or five minutes by the time they leave the campus to the time they get to the nutrition farm. President Hilton is going to accompany the group on its tour to the swine nutrition farm as well as Dean Floyd Andre. Of course, at the swine nutrition farm, they will be met by other Iowa State University officials uh, interested in the, that department to explain to him actually what is going on. Here you see the students breaking uh, from the crowd and possibly moving to a better advantage point to get a look uh, at Mr. Khrushchev. Here you see the security of uh, people walking along beside the cars, hur hurrying the lead car, telling them to move along. Cap, as we look down the uh, street, looking west, it's about as solid a mass of humanity as we have seen for a long, long time. It is, and uh, they are, what you might uh, say, interested in this uh, uh, visiting uh, delegate from another uh, country. It uh, shows that our educational institutions are interested in exchange of information, exchange of people, learning more about uh, how the people live. Now as we look north, heading south, as a car passes down by the television studios, we will get a glimpse of the official caravan as it moves along. The lead car moving toward us, moving toward our television camera.